Controversy surrounds Elon Musk's remarks on South African political rally. In a recent exchange on social media, tech billionaire Elon Musk, the CEO of various companies including X formerly known as Twitter, found himself embroiled in a heated debate over remarks made by Julius Malma, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF party in South Africa. Good day, I'm Ken Helen and welcome to the Nganiyama News Channel. The dispute centered around Malma's performance of the controversial song Kill the Boer during the EFF's 10th anniversary rally at FNB Stadium in Johannesburg. Musk condemned Malma's use of the song, accusing him of inciting the genocide of white people in South Africa. The song, with its historical ties to apartheid era grievances, sparked a wider discussion on social media platforms. The contentious back and forth between Musk and Malma highlights the deep seated divisions surrounding the song's interpretation. While Malma and his supporters view it as a heritage liberation struggle song that critiques white supremacy and apartheid, others, including Musk, argue that the lyrics promote violence and hatred. Malma's invocation of the song is not new, he had previously used it while leading the youth wing of the African National Congress ANC, South Africa's ruling party. The song taps into historical grievances over land theft, discrimination, and oppression under white minority rule, as well as Malma's agenda of land reform. The EFF singing of Kill the Boer was previously challenged in court by civil rights organization AFRIFORM, which claimed it constituted hate speech and incitement to violence. However, a landmark judgment dismissed the case, asserting that the song's lyrics fell within the bounds of free speech and political contestation. In the wake of the recent rally, criticism of Malma's performance intensified, prompting opposition parties such as the Democratic Alliance DA and Freedom Front Plus to take legal action against him. Musk's intervention in the matter raised eyebrows, especially given his recent involvement in various online controversies and his plans to transform X into a comprehensive platform similar to China's WeChat. The broader implications of this debate extend beyond South Africa's borders. The term white genocide invoked by Malma's song has been a rallying cry among far-right circles, both in South Africa and internationally. It has been used in various contexts to fuel fears of racial violence and displacement. Elon Musk's engagement in the conversation has reignited discussions about his background and upbringing in apartheid-era South Africa. While he left the country at a young age, Musk's comments and interactions on social media underscore the complex dynamics of race, privilege, and historical memory. As the debate continues, the role of social media platforms in amplifying contentious issues and facilitating cross-border conversations remains a subject of scrutiny. The clash between Musk and Malma serves as a reminder of how historical grievances and political tensions can intersect in the digital age, sparking both dialogue and discord. The upcoming legal proceedings related to Malma's performance of the song will further contribute to the ongoing discourse surrounding freedom of expression, hate speech, and the legacy of apartheid in South Africa. That's all for now on the Nganiyama News Channel. What are your thoughts on ex-South African citizen Elon Musk making bold and public statements about South Africa's third biggest party, the EFF promoting white genocide in South Africa? Let us know in the comments below. As always, do like the video, subscribe to the Nganiyama News Channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this developing story and more news from the African diaspora and across the globe.